By 2017, there will be about two and a half million new middle skilled jobs across this country and not enough trained workers to fill them. These jobs don't require a four year college degree and they all pay at least $13 an hour, sometimes much more. What's up, Joe Poole is just 21 years old, but he's already on track to make more than $100,000 in his first year out of college. Just seeing firsthand how things are made is something that I enjoy doing. Poole monitors the refining process at this Houston petrochemical plant, which produces plastics for everything from milk jugs to bike helmets. How's a uh, five and six going? It's a middle skills job that requires only two years of college, but employers can't find enough trained workers to fill the openings. The demand is there big time. Uh, what we need to work on is the supply. Houston's labor shortage permeates the shipping industry too. Business is very good right now. Martin DeCamp offers on the job training, health insurance, overtime pay, and even a matching 401k. And he still can't track down enough workers with the right skills. You know, I could hire in this yard alone 25 welders and have them working within the week. And right now there's 100,000 manufacturing jobs in America going unfilled. Led by Vice President Joe Biden, the White House Ready to Work strategy is helping connect the unemployed with jobs that pay as much as $37 an hour plus overtime. It's not the federal government creating jobs, we're not. We're facilitating. We're just saying here it is. Right. Here's what the jobs are, here's the requirements, here's how you get those requirements and we can help you pay for it if you qualify. But first, Americans eager to work must gain the skills employers need. Community colleges have programs. Uh, For-profit trade schools have programs. Big companies have programs. The MicroWorks Foundation aims to dispel the notion that getting a four-year degree is the only path to success. If you're willing to learn how to weld and work, you can go to North Dakota and you can be making six figures within the year. In Minneapolis, it isn't global competition that worries the owner of a precision manufacturing company, but hiring employees with the right skill sets. These are terrific jobs. And convincing job candidates that modern manufacturing is a far cry from the sweatshops of the past. Our manufacturing plants uh, are not dark, dirty, and dangerous uh, assembly lines. That one's ready. Emily Cramble took a three-month course to learn how to operate high-tech equipment like this million-dollar laser cutting machine. That's a lot of responsibility, but it's fun. The single mom landed this job just two days after graduation. You enjoy coming to work every day. In Atlanta, the film and television industries are booming. In the last year alone, accounting for about 23,000 jobs. But again, finding skilled workers is a constant challenge. You hardly ever keep a, a rock unturned trying to find the people. We did a show last year called Dumb and Dumber 2, and Fully half of our crew had never worked a show before. Next year, the place where blockbusters like The Hunger Games and The Fast and the Furious were filmed will become a cutting edge movie campus with seven sound stages, classrooms for training, and condos where resident extras can learn and live. The condo exteriors may look more like Manhattan than suburban Georgia. Like Wall Street or the French Quarter. And in a $30 million deal, entertainment mogul Tyler Perry recently bought most of a shuttered army base with plans to transform the property into 16 sound stages. I will be able to have so many more people, so many more kids, so many more things. There are good jobs out there. To this day, the vice president remembers the words of his late father, who once lost his job but maintained his pride. A job's about a lot more than your paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about your place in the community. It's about who you are. If you'd like to learn where the jobs are, we've posted information on our website to show you which jobs will be most in demand by 2017 and even where they'll be. At the White House, Andrea McCarran for USA Today.